So today we are taking a look at the love tap and also apparently the wondrous AI path in and behavior of a Bethesda super mutant behemoth. Truly a wonder to behold. But anyway, the love tap. Step it in. Also, this is the PTS, so the time to look away would be now if you don't want spoilers. So the love tap, a submachine gun, a good old Tommy gun uh, with a unique skin and of course unique pre-roll legendary effect, which is not useless like a lot of them are. Uh, and you can actually effectively use this on your builds. So taking a look at it, as I said, you got that unique skin, vampires, faster fire rate, breaks 50% slower, and a fourth perk being plus 20% extra damage or increase in damage, which is really, really nice. Uh, of course, I modded it here to have the ultra side ammo, so that gets you, you know, the bonus damage against the Scorch Beast there as well. But let's take it for a spin and see how it performs. I'll also do a quick comparison to a Vampire's Fixer in case you want to see the difference there. Uh, and for the build, you can pause and take a look here if you want. But my standard Stealth Commando setup and there's taking a look at the legendary perks as well in case you're interested. So how do you actually get this weapon? Well, it's from one of the new events, Tunnel of Love, and I got this as a random reward at the end of the event so it can drop as a reward from it. Uh, you can't change the legendary roll on it, but you can take off that unique skin if you want. Uh, and then of course you can mod it normally. And into West Tech we go for our usual super helpful super mutants for testing. And I'm just going to slowly tap fire here just to see how many bullets it actually takes to kill because it's a bit hard to see with the faster fire rate so five shots there on the level 100 super mutants which is not bad at all and pretty expected don't have blood each here or uh, anti-armor or anything like that which is getting us some nice damage increase uh, it's just vampires which will always take and is going to be helping us stay alive no problems especially in your boss fight arenas and whatnot so dealing with these super mutants and yeah slots perfectly into your stealth commando build so you can easily swap it or you know use it if you are on a commando build or you know, stealth build use the exact same perk cards as the fixer and handmade it can be suppressed so it works perfectly with stealth and of course you've got the large magazine so dealing with uh, you know large enemies don't have a problem of running out of bullets there uh, for large crowd situations if there's like a lot of ghouls rushing you or something like that also a large magazine so really nice there of course much bigger magazine than uh, the fixer and handmade get just sort of straight off the bat uh, but of course you have that decrease in damage but yeah left tap here no problem on this build with these super mutants at all now comparing this to a vampire's fixer on the same build pretty sure this will be like a three shot kill with the fixer here on the super mutants but let's see and yeah three shot kill for the fixer so a two bullet difference there between a vamp fixer and the love tap so not a massive difference but of course an expected one uh the submachine gun in general just uses more ammo but still a good option to go for if you get a really nice roll on it now another thing is with this being the pts and at times a bit buggy and also faster fire rate and if your particular server even in the live game is a bit laggy or the game just being how you know the game can be at times uh, the faster fire rate and not just on this weapon but any you're gonna chow through ammo but five shots of course will do the trick here but holding down the button and especially just constantly in vats probably gonna be spending additional ammo unnecessarily because you know you only need the five to kill but firing so fast and the server can't exactly keep up with the additional bullets once they're already fired before it actually registers okay the enemy's dead uh, so do keep that in mind but Overall, super fun weapon, solid option to use if you get it to drop. Can start into your commando build very easy with no issues. Vampire is always great, especially on your fast automatic weapons. Good roll here. So the love tap, a nice little option for you to use for your build, and particularly if you want to role play and really like Tommy guns. But hey, if you enjoyed, then consider hitting that like and subscribe button and sticking around for more Fallout content. As always, massive thank you to the channel members for their support. But for now, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one.